Welcome to Sword Meg's Writer's Cafe, where we share the real writer's life over a cup of friendship, sprinkled with laughter and wisdom. My name is LaShonda Hoffman, and I'm your host. This episode's sponsor is Virtual Tea with LaShonda Promotion Strategy Sessions. Today's podcast is about when fear is controlling you and you don't even know it. Warning signs. So today is going to be a new series that I'm doing when fear is controlling you and you don't even know it. I decided to try my hand at solo podcasting. My first question was, what would I talk about? This podcast is about writing and the writer's life. So I decided to share my journey in writing. One of the biggest things that I have dealt with with my writing is fear. As I work through my fears, I found that many writers deal with it too. They just don't talk about it that much. And so I wanted to share with you things that I've been going through dealing with fear. And hopefully it will help you. So today I will be sharing with you the warning signs of fear. This weekend, I plan on working on my book, Finishing the Revisions. I'm going to be honest and tell you, fear has been kicking my butt and I let it. This book was edited in 2016. And I was supposed to revise and publish it in 2017. That was my plan. I'd opened up the edited version and saw all those red marks and I panicked. I read through the revision letter. I read through the revision letter and I panicked. Yeah, I freaked. I put it back in the closet and I moved on to other things. I created a coloring book. I created a planner. I created a journal. I started a promotion coaching uh, service. I was doing all kind of stuff and avoiding that book. I told myself I would revise it, but something always popped up in front of it. So now it's 2019 and I think I'm ready to tackle these revisions. And guess what? Not. It's not gonna <laughs> I found out this weekend I was doing something to avoid it. So I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can get back on track and and recognize when fear is bugging you and the signs that pop up when it is bugging you. And here's one of mine that I've done this weekend. Procrastination. So I'm watching the um, Call the Midwife. I'm binging that. And I came home Friday all gung-ho ready to write and I said, well, I'm going to relax for an hour and then I'll write. So I put the show on. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. And before I know it, it's time to go to bed. I haven't written a thing. I haven't even opened up the computer. That was a sign. But I just told myself I was tired. I needed to rest. You know, I'd be better in the morning. Saturday morning, I get up. Uh, I got some different things. Somebody sent me emails. I'm checking those emails out. I'm writing up some stuff for the emails. I got a virtual tea that I'm going to be doing that afternoon. And so I've got to do that. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I'm avoiding the book. So what is that called? Procrastination, people. Procrastination. LaShonda is the queen of procrastination. It's putting off what you need to do today for tomorrow. This is a big fear sign. Ding, 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 ding. My example, I'm a great procrastinator. I'm a gonna queen. When I hear myself, I'm gonna, or I'm talking about stuff I need to do, but I'm not doing, I know I'm opening the door to fear and procrastination. That is me this weekend. I have been in procrastination mode. As a matter of fact, I'm still in procrastination mode because I'm doing this podcast that I was supposed to did last week. I'm doing it today so I can put it up today because I need a podcast for today because I procrastinated and didn't do it. Yes, I am the queen of procrastination. And if you are the queen's bridesmaids, <laughs> what you call it, princesses? Raise your hand. If you're the king of procrastination, raise your hand. It's okay. That's a sign of fear. And so that's okay. That's okay. We're going to deal with that. All right. And so next sign of fear. Oh, my goodness. I am so good at this one. Perfection. It is never ready. That's why I have seven books in the closet, people, because they are never ready. 
I cannot let them go. I cannot submit them because they got to be perfect. They got to be perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. The website will be updated. It will never be perfect. The course that you need to work on, it will never be perfect. The product that you're trying to improve, it will never be perfect. Let go. Move forward. You can always correct later. I'm learning this. I'm getting to it. That's my fear sign. The next fear sign that I deal with, worrying about what others think. Ooh wee This has stopped me for many, many years. That's why the books are still in the closet. Because I was so worried about what people are going to think. What if they don't like my characters? What if they don't like my storyline? What if they think I suck at writing? Okay. I'm worrying about stuff I have no control over. I have to tell myself that all the time. No control over the, what people think, what people say. You have no control over it. And you're letting it stop you. So this is what I do sometimes. I have to tell myself to write a circle. Put your name in it. LaShonda. And then look at that circle. What do you control? I only control what LaShonda can do. What can LaShonda do? What can LaShonda not do? I can't control what's outside that, that circle. I can't control what people think. I can't control what people write. I can't tr- control what people buy. All I can control is what LaShonda does. All right. Then my la- the next one is comparing. Mm. When I first started writing and was trying to submit and I had my writing friends, this was a big uh, sign, a big sign comparing, thinking you should be like the next person. When I started writing, most of my friends started writing, online friends started writing. They started getting published and I wasn't. And man, that was hard for me. Very hard because um, why was they getting it and I wasn't getting it, you know? One of the reasons I wasn't getting it is that back there in the fear thing of submitting is <laughs> too perfect. So if you ain't submitting, you ain't going to get published, LaShonda. Duh, that's how it works. You know, and I had to learn in my journey that my lane is not their lane. Their journey to publication is not going to be my journey to publication. And I have to be okay with that. And it took me a minute to get that. It took me a minute because... You know, I, one time I had friends that was bam, bam, popping these books out. And I'm like, wow, why not me? What am I doing wrong? You know, that's that pity party that takes over you. That's fear is popping in, trying to tell you different things, the ways to act, you know. But I've learned to celebrate my friends, to be excited about my friends, to be inspired by my friends, that I can have this this pie, too. I can eat from this pie, too. But I got to do something. I got to control me. I got to get out of my circle and do the things that I need to do to get to that sec, to get to down that road that they're on, the published road. Um, so don't compare yourself to others. I know it's easy to say that, but be you. Um, compare yourself to last year and work on being better from last year. And, um, you know, make a plan. Get yourself together. See what you want to do. You know, it's so hard out here to publish a book. And it's so hard if you're dealing with fear, trying to deal with fear, trying to publish, trying to write. You know, it's a daily challenge. It's something that never goes away. You know, sometimes people tell me, oh, you uh, just pray about it and God will deliver you. And I believe that God helps you through fear, but you're going to always tackle fear. That's part of life. You know, you're always going to have fear. What it is, is how you handle it, how you deal with it. Are you going to let it stop you for dreaming? Are you going to let it stop you for not working on your dream? Are you going to let it sit on your couch for years and, and say, Hey, you don't need to do what you said you want to do. You know, one of the things that I've learned with dealing with fear is that your dreams are supposed to scare you. They're supposed to scare the heck out of you. Because if they don't scare you, guess what? Why do them? You know, so if they scare you, this is what I tell everybody. Do it scared. And you will learn how to deal with fear every day. You will, believe me, you will learn how to deal with fear. It's a daily process. 
But you have to recognize those signs, those signs that you're dealing with fear. And maybe those aren't your signs. So I want you to take time and write down what stops you from writing. What stops you? Because those are your signs that tell you that you're not writing. Like somebody might say, well, time stops me. I don't have enough time. But you do. You just have to make time. You know, even if I tell my clients all the time, 15 minutes a day, then it's 15 minutes a day. And I, and that's how I write 15 minutes, you know, three times a day if I can, because I use that as an excuse of not writing, you know. So make sure that you write down your fears, write them down. And because writing them down helps you tackle them. It really does. It helps you say, oh, the fear man is sitting on the couch with me today. Hmm, what am I procrastinating about? So I want you to, you know, check out your warning signs. My warning sign one was procrastination. Putting off what you need to do today for tomorrow. This is a big fear sign. Number two, perfection. It is never ready. It is never ready. Number three, comparing. Oh my goodness. Don't compare yourself to people. Don't compare yourself to people. You know, you would drive yourself crazy. Don't compare yourself. Oh, I skipped one. One, worrying about what others think. Don't worry about what others think. Because you can't have, you don't have no control over it. You know, you just don't. And you're driving yourself, you're driving yourself. And for what? All right. So I hope those were helpful for you. This is going to be a short podcast. The ones that I do, be short. I'm not going to be trying to talk to you for an hour. Because <laughs> I probably could, but I don't want to be droning you out. But I hope this was helpful for someone. Please let me know. You know, send me an email. Say, hey, LaShonda, I, I'm dealing with fear too. I, I understand. Believe me, I really do. Um, I want you to move forward with your writing. And that's, that's, that's our mission for this year is to finish the books. Finish the books, LaShonda. <laughs> Publish them. Get them ready for your readers. You know, you you can't finish the book if you don't work on it. You can't finish the book if you're procrastinating about it. You can't finish the book if you're worried about what other people are thinking. You can't finish the book if you're worried about comparing yourself to other people. Just be you. You are magnificent. You are fantastic. You are an amazing writer. But no one will ever know unless you put your book out there. I hear you, LaShonda. I hear you. (laughs) All right. I would like to thank our sponsor for this episode, Virtual Tea with LaShonda Promotion Strategy Sessions. Check the links in the show notes to order your promotion audit. I want to thank you, my listeners, for taking time to listen to this podcast. I have three requests for you. Subscribe to the platform you are listening to so you don't miss an episode. Please, please write a review and let me know what you think of this episode. Number three, share this podcast with your community. Do you have someone who's dealing with fear? Share this episode with them. If you have a topic you want me to discuss on the cafe or would like to sponsor an episode, send to onesormeg at gmail.com. This is LaShonda Hoffman, and I'll see you on the next.